concept behind Lip Motors C1 is simple. Why haul around 4,000 pounds of car? We can ride a self-stabilizing two-wheeler that marries all the creature comforts of a car with the performance and efficiencies of a motorcycle. So you're calling this the C1, which stands for? Uh, concept one, yeah. And some people would just say this is magic, but it's really gyroscopes. So can you talk a little bit about what do gyroscopes do in this application? When I was 25, I was building two biodiesel SUVs in tandem production, and uh, one of them almost fell on me and killed me. Uh, so I started to think about why do we need all this car. Uh, the uh, inefficiencies became uh, very apparent, so I decided to cut the car in half and build the perfect uh, commuter. How did the gyroscopes come into play? That's the only way to stabilize a motorcycle at rest. Um, it's not based on Segway technology, but it's a lot more like a, like a large top or a dreidel. Um, we just have a very um, a heavy dreidel spinning at a very high speed. Um, so that creates stability at all times and it creates safety. These gyroscopes have never been used this way before. Mm -hmm. right? What are gyroscopes normally used for? I mean, everybody knows them in the Segway application, mm -hmm. but what are they normally for, like especially the size? The last digitally controlled gyroscope was the Hubble Space Telescope. That wasn't a commercial, uh, commercially available vehicle, but gyro cars have been used throughout uh, the last century. Um, there's one in 1913, uh, one in 1967. Uh, the first gyroscope was used actually for steerable torpedo back in 1887. There are actually two gyroscopes working in tandem here. There are two gyroscopes working in tandem, uh, both counter-rotating, working together to maintain your balance in a turn or at rest. There are a lot of impressive things about this vehicle, especially as you have planned for the production version. One of them being the lean angle. You said that you could roll down the window and just drag your knuckles on the yeah, ground. Yeah, absolutely. Roll just with ease of steering. Yeah. You can lean it over 45 degrees and drag your hand against uh, along the cement if you are privy to that. Yeah, this should be a very exciting experience. This is an electric vehicle, and I know that you really haven't worked out the specs yet in terms of what the exact drivetrain is going to be. Mm -hmm. But right now, how far, how fast, how much? Uh, we're looking at uh, 220 miles per charge and a uh, top speed of 120 miles an hour on an 8 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, we're looking for first production run to be around $24,000 uh, starting uh, Q1 of 2014. A lot of people want to ride motorcycles, but they don't for different reasons. What makes this a motorcycle? What makes it a car? What makes it a safe motorcycle? The reason why most people don't drive motorcycles is because of uh, safety. You have airbags, uh, side impact protection, a full door. You don't have to wear a helmet because you're driving in your helmet. Um, and your uh, unibody uh, is going to be all steel or um, carbon fiber composites. The obvious comparison to what you're making here with the C1 is the E-Tracer, yeah. which is really a cabin motorcycle that uses a BMW platform. Yeah. So it's got a handlebars and you're using a throttle. But here you have the steering wheel and the foot pedals. Why do that? Why not build it so it operates more like a motorcycle? Well, it creates an accessible platform or interface for everyone that everyone's familiar with. We felt that that was the best way to start, um, especially um, with having a fly-by-wire um, steering controls. It just makes the acceleration of a motorcycle accessible to everyone, and not just to select few. What could this theoretically be hit by and still remain standing? Any normal sedan, you'd be able to get uh, T-boned in an intersection and the vehicle would scoot. Uh, same thing with any SUV. It's basically an untippable motorcycle. Mm -hmm. It really brings uh, the safety of a car on the motorcycle platform. Can people carry anything back here? You'll be able to uh, bring a second passenger or uh, put uh, four grocery bags in the rear and a carry-on. Uh, you can put your suitcase or your purse or your laptop bag right next to you. You have two versions of this here right now. You have the model and then you also have the drivable prototype. So when I was out there testing it, right now the maximum speed is 10 miles per hour. Only one of the two gyros was working. As I was driving, mm -hmm. these guys were around me. One of them had a laptop. Can you explain what was going on? I'm balanced, right? That laptop uh, is basically just like an iPhone app. Because you can actually program the entire vehicle. You can uh, the control system for uh, the front uh, wheel drive, the rear wheel drive, the actual gyros. 
you can dictate and program the vehicle to do a trek like a stoppy or to drift into a parallel parking space. There's a lot of creative turns that uh, anyone uh, could uh, actually execute. So you wouldn't have to spend thousand hours on a motorcycle uh, as a stunt rider uh, to learn how to drift your motorcycle. You could just buy the program for it. So basically there's an app for drifting. Yeah. A solution to LA traffic? You can split lanes in this thing. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter. So if it's starting to go in this direction, shift your weight to your left. Not a lot, just a little. Back to the right. Oh my gosh.